everyone, Merry Merry Christmas. Hope you guys all had a fantastic day. So I thought I would do what I got for Christmas haul. I'm doing it in a different location in my bedroom so I don't know how the lighting's gonna be but I'm gonna give it a go. I'm not gonna do this in any particular order because I haven't organised it that way and I'm just gonna get on and do it. So I've got a real thing about tropical themes, anything palm, pineapple or flamingo and I'm obsessed and also unicorns. And so with that in mind, I got this amazing copper ice bucket in the shape of a pineapple by Oliver Bonus, or Bonus, however you want to say it. And it's ceramic inside, which is suitable for an ice bucket. But also, I just think it looks really, really cool. So I'm not even sure I'm going to use it as an ice bucket, because I just don't think I could, but I love it. I got these two little Disney Simpsons. I don't really collect Simpsons, but I do have the Duffy Simpsons. So my sister got me the Shelley May one when she went to Disneyland Paris, which is absolutely perfect. And she also got Goofy for free, so she just threw it in for me for good measure. I absolutely love her. I think she's adorable. I actually have Shelley May and Duffy in the background there. Next up is one of my favourite gifts that I got for Christmas. I posted this on Instagram, so you, some of you may have seen it, but it's this snow globe with stitch on. Let me play it for you. So it's the Stitch theme tune. You can see scrumps on the top there, stitches in the sand, and then all this detail around here with the record player, coconut. I mean, I just love it. This is just me in a snow globe. I got a couple of AOS products. I got an AOS lip balm in cherry, I believe, and then a small EOS hand lotion and berry blossom. Actually, I think they were matching, so they're both probably... Actually, no, I'm sure that was cherry berry or something. This is berry blossom. I just think this is a really good handbag size, and actually I have used it, and it's not greasy at all in your hands, so I do rate this as a hand cream. Next up, I got some earrings from Kate Spade. Here they are. Here they are. So they're kind of goldy with jewels on. I actually really, really like these. I do always wear the same sort of earrings and they're always quite big, jewelly. Jewel, my jewelly. Then I also got this mini mouse pen in the shape of a bride because I'm getting married. Apparently there wasn't one the equivalent for a groom, so Alex didn't get one. I got this tin cup mug by Victoria's Secret and it's filled with candy cane. I'm gonna save my biggest present to last. Word on the street is that I collect pop figures. I used to get a monthly subscription, but I've stopped it because I didn't really know what I was gonna do with these, but I do love them. And I got Belle, Peasant Belle and the Beast, and then Coronation Anna from Frozen. Then I got this really cute um, picture frame here. It says, this home runs on wet noses, fluffy cuddles, Heidi kisses and love and the black Labrador is all sparkly and glittery, which is right up my alley. Then I got this lovely long scarf with a cardigan knit and pom-poms. This was from Jack Wills. I don't think it's gonna go with the current outfit, but it's super long. I got a nice gift set from L'Occitane. I pronounce it L'Occitane, but some people pronounce it L'Occitane. So in it, in it comes a 15 pound gift voucher. And then I get loads of minis and I love minis because I love having like a travel toiletry section. Let's move that up a bit. So I get the almond shower, uh, the almond shower gel, which PS smells so good. It's so decadent. And then I get this yellow cream. I have no idea what this is for. And it does, you know, it didn't even come with instructions. So I literally have no idea, but I think I've seen this online before and I think it might be like a night cream. A uh, hard soap, lavender bath mousse, the tiniest of hand creams in rose, neroli body milk. And actually, I just love the box. It's so Christmassy, don't you think? Love. I got a lot of toiletries this Christmas. When I was younger, I would have hated toiletries, but the older I get, the absolute more I love them because I like quite expensive toiletries, so it's great to be able to get them for Christmas. I got this massive molten brown. This is huge. This is pink pepper pod, which smells really good. If you want a flavor of molten brown, then this is brilliant. Whenever I wear it and then I come out of the bath, Alex always comments on how nice I smell. And to be honest, he doesn't usually do that when I get out of the bath. I think that's the same. 
I got this gift from Heidi, but apparently she didn't know the name of this, Grumpy Cow. That's just a pure coincidence. And this is by Cow Shed, and the flavour or scent is red mandarin, petite gran and grapefruit, and it smells really uh, energising, so I think that's good. It's a shower or bath gel. I've never ever used anything by Cow Shed, but I've heard it's really good, so I'm glad that I've got this so that I can try it. And I think last on the toiletries are these two Cherry Blossom by L'Occitane, or L'Occitane again, uh, bath thingies, bath gel mousse, bubble bath, that's the word I'm looking for. One thing I really wanted this Christmas was socks because I like good quality socks. I don't like getting big, bulk, cheap socks because for me I've got massive feet and so they stretch and become really thin and they don't last long at all so I need to have the more expensive sock because of my big feet and I got this box here and inside it's by Ted Baker. I get three polar bear socks in different colours which is so cute. And so there's three in a box, and I got five boxes, 15 socks. So I'm going to have a big clear out of my sock drawer later on. But I don't think it matters that they're kind of Christmassy, because to be honest, as long as my socks match, which they didn't for a large majority of my life, I think it's fine. So I mentioned that I loved unicorns, and anything unicorns is great, and my niece and nephew gave me a ton of unicorn stuff. So to begin with. I got this unicorn candle holder, a unicorn makeup bag by Skinny Dip, unicorn stickers, amazing unicorn socks, more unicorn socks, a unicorn pencil, a unicorn cookie cutter, the cutest unicorn lip balm, I love this, and it smells like unicorns I swear, and unicorn tissues! Great for the cold season. Oh, sorry, left the best thing to last on the unicorn. A unicorn pillowcase. I don't know if you can see it all, but basically it says Auntie Coco at the bottom because that's what my niece and nephew call me. I got these cute little Mickey Mouse post-it note stickers. I am obsessed with my Erin Condren planner, which uses loads of stickers, and these will come in really handy for that. And I also got a Mickey Mouse pen. I actually use these kind of pens on my wedding planner and my life planner by Erin Condren. And I have a Pusheen one and a Hello Kitty one. So I'll be glad to use my Mickey Mouse one when it's over. I just like the fact that it has a little charm hanging off. I also got this print, which is lush. Ohana means family. Family means nobody gets left behind or forgotten, which is the like Polynesian saying and it's just adorable and really cute colours. But I need to find a frame for that. Also from Kate Spade, I got given this mini mouse leather keyring or handbag charm. Okay, so this is cool. I can already smell it. This is a wax LED light, but it's supposed to be like a fake candle, so it smells like a candle. It's so strong. Whew. But you don't light it. I hate polystyrene. Ooh. I mean, it's so strong. That is so strong. So it's in the shape of a pineapple. It doesn't 100% smell like a pineapple. It's kind of a hybrid pineapple grapefruit thing. Sorry about my hiccup there. And it has an LED light. And I believe it changes colour. I don't know how well you can see that. It definitely changes colour. I think you can sort of see that. So strong. That might have to go in the bathroom because that is so strong. And I got this sticker book by Ban Do. And this is for my planner, basically. I mentioned that I was obsessed. And it just has loads and loads of different stickers in it. And actually, in the UK, um, it is, sorry, not saying that. in the UK, it's really hard to find planner stickers because I think it's a very much a US thing. I just see a massive cobweb up there, so I got distracted. I think it's a massive US thing, and Erin Condren is based in the US, and you can't actually buy her products in the UK, you have to get them shipped from the US, which is totally worth it, by the way, but they have loads of stickers and planners there, and it just hasn't filtered across as much here so it's brilliant that I was gifted this for Christmas. And from my parents I got this awesome makeup organiser by Glam, it's called Glam 
Deluxe Cosmetic Organiser by Urban Lines, maybe. I'll get it out for you guys. Ta-da! I love it. It's even got, oh gosh, that is to protect your silverware, that black lining. Loads of like brushes and makeup areas and oh, I just love it. I love to be organised and I don't have loads and loads of makeup so this is, this is perfect for me. My parents also got me an amazing pair of boots but they just don't quite fit so we had to take them back and I'm not sure what I'm going to get instead so I haven't got that to show you. I'm just going to have a think about it instead of impulse purchase buy just because it's Christmas. I'm just going to have a think about what to get instead. Okay, on to the good stuff. Okay, so Alex, being the most amazing boyfriend that he is, actually I'm going to show you the other one. He got me two bags from Anya Hindmarsh. I love Anya Hindmarsh. I'm obsessed. She's a British leather designer. I used to be very, very pro Mulberry and love Mulberry stuff and I couldn't get enough of Mulberry things. Um, and I actually never got a Mulberry bag, but I got lo Did I ever get a Mulberry bag? No, but I got loads and loads of accessories, like a wallet and a phone wallet and a clutch bag, actually. Sorry, itchy eye. Um, but what I found from Mulberry is they're not actually very usable. They are really, really soft, fine Nappa leather. So they're beautiful and amazingly handcrafted and, or whatever, however they do it. But it just isn't for everyday use and if I'm going to spend a lot of money on something then I want to be able to use it. I don't want to just look at it although I do look at it for a long time before I brave it and start using it. So Coach is a real favourite of mine because their wallet, every time I get it out to pay some, for something everyone always comments on how cool it is and how great it is and I have lots of friends who actually have the same Coach wallet like the long one and everyone uses it for years and years. Coach just lasts and it's always so classic that it will be forever more. My mum had coach when she was in her 20s and she's passed on a bag to me and it still comes in and out of fashion or stays in fashion or whatever, it's just cool. So another brand on that line. I really love coach, which is a bit more affordable than Anya Hindmarsh and I don't have anything by Anya Hindmarsh because it is that more expensive but I'm always obsessed with it, obsessed with looking at it. I have a few of the handbag stickers but now I have two bags and this is just amazing. But Alex is such a naughty boy but so this is the bag and it also comes with the coolest dust bag which I could use as a laundry bag but I'd probably just use it to protect my handbags but it has a long strap and then also two of those straps but that's this is just the dust bag so this is the bag oh my god I love it a no entry sign in canvas and leather handles and then a fabric-y uh, or canvas stripe I mean I just love it I can't even tell you her logo is a little bow which as you can see there and then on the inside oh it just smells good it has to tie up the bag it has two leather ties and then a flap and there's the paper in there and it's just green on the other side. I just love this. I'm so in love with this. And I think this is really cool for a casual look. I think that this would literally go with anything on a casual look. Obviously you wouldn't take it to a strong, a strong, a formal event, but I think for anything else, this is so wearable every day and he also got me, this is the most amazing bag, another dust bag. So this bag, it's, I think it's called Ebury, the Ebury Make, or Ebury, E-B-U-R-Y, I don't know how to pronounce these things, but they do the most awesome collection. If you have the time to look at Anya Hindmarsh and look at her Ebury bags, I just think they're awesome, but I have one. These are kind of like the Mulberry... Is it Bayswater bags? Like, they're massive. They're so huge. It's completely leather. Look at the stitching on this handle. I mean, how good is that? And what's so cute is it's got the little chef on it. And these come in so many different varieties. They come in covered in stickers. They come in loads of different colours. They come with Tony the Tiger on from Frosties. And, like, the no entry side. They've just got so many. But I absolutely love this colour. And I think this could be used for formal events and probably work as well. I think I will use it for work once I feel brave enough to take it out of the minute. I do want to just look at it and look after it and 
smell it, but it's got all these metal feet on the bottom and it's huge inside. Again, it's, it closes with a tied leather bow and then it's got a zip pocket. Like This is my dream bag and here it is. I got it for Christmas. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? I'm sure you don't have to imagine because you're probably sitting there thinking, oh, what is she going about? But that's me. So that was me for Christmas on the whole. I got so much chocolate and so much food. It's an absolute joke. Anyway guys, I hope you got everything you wanted for Christmas. Let me know what you got and I hope you all had a great time. It is sad that it's over for another year, but I mean, all this food and stuff, I just, I've absolutely loved it. So I'm not gonna get the blues until I go back to work. I need to sort all this stuff out now. That is a task. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.